So we're told to factor the polynomial below by its greatest common monomial factor. So what does that mean? So we have these two terms, and I want to figure out their greatest common monomial factor. And then I want to express this with that greatest common monomial factor factored out. So how can we tackle it? Well, one way to start is I can look at just the constant terms. I can look at, or not the constants, the coefficients, I should say. So I have the 8 and the 12. And I can say, well, what is just the greatest common factor of 8 and 12? The GCF of 8 and 12. And there are a lot of common factors of 8 and 12. They're both divisible by 1. They're both divisible by 2. They're both divisible by 4. But the greatest of their common factors is going to be 4. So that is equal to 4. So I could, so let me just leave that there. And then we could think about what is, well, let me actually write it right over here. I'll put a 4 here. And now we can move on to the powers of x. We have an x squared and we have an x. And we can say, what is the largest power of x that is divisible into both x squared and x? Well, that's just going to be x. x squared is clearly divisible by x. And x is clearly divisible by x. But x isn't going to be, isn't, isn't going to have a larger power of x as a factor. So this is the greatest, you could view this as the greatest common monomial factor of x squared and x. Now we do the same thing for the y's. So we have a y and a y squared. If we think in the same terms, the largest power of y that's divisible into both of these is going to be just y to the first power, or y. And so 4xy is the greatest common monomial factor. And to see that, we can express each of these terms as a product of 4xy and something else. So this first term right over here, so let me pick a color. So this term right over here, we could write as 4xy, that's, that one's actually, that color is hard to see. Let me pick a darker color. We could write this right over here as 4xy times what? And I encourage you to pause the video and think about that. Let's see, 4 times what is equal is going to get us to 8. Well, 4 times 2 is going to get us to 8. x times what is going to get us to x squared? Well, x times x is going to get us to x squared. And then y times what is going to get us to y? Well, it's just going to be y. So 4xy times 2x is actually going to give us this first term. So actually, let me just rewrite it a little bit differently. So it's 4xy times 2x is this first term, and you can, you can verify that. 4 times 2 is going to be equal to 8. x times x is equal to x squared, and then you just have the y. Now let's do the same thing with the second term. And I just want to do this to show you that, they both, that this is their largest common monomial factor. So the second term, and I'll do this in a slightly different color, do it in blue. I want to write this as the product of 4xy and another and another monomial. So 4 times what is 12? Well, 4 times 3 is 12. x times what is x? Well, it's just going to be 1, so we don't have to write up times 1 here. And then y times what is y squared? It's going to be y times y is y squared. And you can verify. If you multiply these two, you're going to get 12xy squared. 4 times 3 is 12. You get your x. And then y times y is y squared. So, so far I've written this exact same expression, but I've taken each of those terms and I factored them into their greatest common monomial, their greatest common monomial factor and then whatever is left over. And now I can factor the 4xy out. I can actually factor it out. So this is going to be equal to, if I factor the 4xy's out, you could kind of say I undistribute the 4xy, I factor it out, this is going to be equal to 4 xy times times 2x 2x plus when I factor 4xy from here I get the 3y left over so let's 3y and we are done and you can verify it if you do you if you were to go the other way if you were to distribute this 4xy and multiply it times 2x you get 8x squared y and then when you distribute the 4xy onto the 3y you get the 12xy squared and so we're done this right over here is our answer that the answer is going to be 4xy which is the greatest common monomial factor times 2x plus 3y